Yeah, yeah, yeah. We live, y'all. Keep it a stack with Biz. We got the homie. Clap it up. Clap it up. Yeah, we got the homie. Ski in the building. Yeah. What's going on? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Thank you for having me. Got that good pink Balenciaga on. Yeah, man. You got them nice little shades on. I, I mean, you know, shout, shout out to Malik Dupree, you know. Okay, I see that. You iced out, too. I mean, you know, I try. <laughs> What's behind the jacket? You had jewelry behind the jacket? I, I, you know, <laughs> money. You know oh, yeah, money? Oh, yeah. okay, I see. Shout out to Averex, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my sponsors. But, yeah, what's going on? Ski, talk to me. You know, I'm in town. I'm in town. I'm trying to fuck with the guys. Like, what we doing? Yeah, you be getting booked a lot. Like, how much How much them booking fees? Because... Not that much. It be like 5K. Nah. Let me $5. 5K? You should 5K. Be getting, you getting 5K? 5K? Just you for the walkthrough? You look. Yeah, 5K. Now, actually, for walkthrough, I'm going to do 2.5. And then I'm 5K for the booking. Okay. Like, if I get five bookings in a week, that's... That's bread. That's bread. That's a business. Like, and then on top of that, we're, like, low-key in recession. So, it's like, niggas ain't even got that type shit. They got it. These niggas acting like nah, they Nah, in New it. York? Nah. Ooh, where you from? I'm from New York. I just had moved to Miami, Queens. Okay, Queens. Queens I'm tapping on all the promoters out here, everything. Like, they tell me, like, yo, ski shit is like... Ski, we want you in the spot because you're going to have motherfuckers in the spot. But right now, pockets is low right now. Budget ain't there. Budget ain't there. Like, it seemed like it's there, but Where's it's not. Where's the budget at, Miami? Um, See, it's different. In Miami, is all the trades and niggas just scamming on all types of shit. So it's like, the money is there, but not for, like, business purposes. If you're a bad bitch, they're going to spend. So it's a different... It's a different world and environment over there. But you bad. So they acting like they want... Like, you not bad? No, I didn't say it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Don't I don't never said that. I'm about to be a manager smacking you know? shit up somebody in Miami. <laughs> I ain't going to care. I got he more You trying money. to book you right now? Or yeah. I'm, I'm book you just walk through the house. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I ain't going to care. In Miami, I got way more money than I did in New York. That's fine. But it's not for, but in New York, I get paid for my actual brand. In Miami, it's like, you a baddie. Like, mm. how much you want for your Chanel? Like, right. I'll give you it right there. Like, just go on a date with me. So you going down like that? If you going down like that, yeah. It, it right seems like everybody get more money out right of town away. in New York. Like, what's that about? I'm not going to lie. When I was out here, and I've known Biz since I was, like, 16. Like, fire. fire. I know everybody since I was 16. I was in a club at 16 years old. Outside, like, outside. Outside. We was outside. That was a different type of outside. It was, That's when it was fun. Yeah. That's when she was lit. She like, was lit. It was less phones. Less phones. It was less, like... Cloud chasing. Cloud chasing. Like, if you outside, you outside. outside. Like, motherfuckers going to fuck with you because they always see you. They got to fuck with you. Right. But it's like, now we in the era. It's like, if they see you, they still going to be, like, on some pump fake shit. Like, it's weird. And that's how I know niggas ain't eating right now. You think? There's a there's a few niggas that's eating, yes, but a lot of niggas ain't. Mm. The same right. niggas that was eating, like, when, like 10 years ago were promoting all that types of shit. Yeah, it's a, it's a different era Even now. The DJs now, some of them are starving. Yeah. So it's a different time. You gotta you gotta have that TikTok wave. You gotta have that Twitch that shit wave. Sucks. You gotta have that podcast <laughs> wave. You know what I'm saying? Right. You gotta have a wave. Right. If you're not on that wave, you just drowning. So how what's up with the music? Like you cause like I remember a few of your freestyles, like when we first like link type shit back in right. the day. Like a lot of your freestyles going viral, going crazy. You was actually like a lot of girls are popping now, but mm -hmm. you really was like one of the first Right. That was like, like especially like on a gram and all that. Right. Nah, it's, it was kind of interesting because I was going through that like development stage as an artist because I came up dancing for celebrities, right? And dancing for celebrities? Like, was you, like yeah, videos? Yeah, I remember I was dancing. I did the whole New York City tour with Designer. I was dancing with Mano. He was like one of the first people oh, okay, that okay. fucking like was like, yo, you dope. You know what I'm saying? And put me in a video, like all of them. I was around everybody at a young age, celebrities since 16. So it was it's a different nigga, 50 cent, T I like I don't dance for all of them. So it's like it was a little, it's kind of different transitioning to being an artist because the niggas I was running with mm -hmm. that was managing me for dance, which just kept telling me, like, yo, your shit trash. Like nah. so it was kind of oh, they was hating. You it, they, <laughs> it's crazy. not really hating. They make it's it. It's old Cardi B she was trash. Look at Cardi B. That's true, but I got I'm looking at it in their point of view. They're all hood niggas. So it's like they see me, they see a brand I'm building. 
they're getting percentage off of everything I do. I don't do nothing for free. Mm -hmm. So with them, it was just like, yo, if you turn into an artist, niggas going to be out here dry. Mm -hmm. So it kind of fucked with my head for a few years. They ain't so believing it. They didn't believe in it. And I'm like so loyal. Cause it's like if if they wasn't around me at the time, I don't want to say no names. Y'all, but you know. Sean. No. Nah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so but um running around with them at the time, like I was so loyal to them because I had a dream and they were just putting that shit in motion. Mm -hmm. So with dancing at the time. So it was like a respect thing I had for them. Like I felt like in my head, they wouldn't tell me something and try to scare me wrong. You know, they would want the mm -hmm. best for me because they've been building me up for like... And you're loyal. And I'm loyal. And that's my fault. But let me ask you something, right? So these same people that you're talking about, like did they ever see like one of your videos or something go viral and then like they tap back in? It was like, yes. uh, they kind of like, do you still fuck with them or... I fuck with them off of the strength that I'm always going to remember what people do for me. So off the strength that they was actually in the field with me and we was outside in the clubs networking. Like I failed out of school because I was like networking every single day with these niggas trying to get like more things on my list as far as in a resume, you know, to get a better pay. So when that came about, it was kind of like crazy because I was like, yo, I want to start doing music. And I was and, and we had a freestyle. I forgot what freestyle. It was Sirius XM with mm -hmm. K Slay. Yeah, mm -hmm. rest in peace to K Slay. Facts. He told me he was like he he was like yo come do a freestyle I fuck with you, and I didn't go because them niggas. Mm -hmm. like, like, nah, right. for real, crazy. And I never told nobody. Not even June don't know about that. K Slay right. just thought I was like late, and then he was he texted me. He was like you don't want it, mm -hmm. and that shit kind of hurt me because I'm like damn I do want it, but right. these niggas is telling me I ain't got it. So I was dealing with like. Like the, I was trying to like fight with my whole environment on trying to excel because mm. dancing for celebrity comes with, yo, I like you. Yo, you cute. Yo, I'm trying to fuck. We getting good money together. We on a road. And it's like being on a road with these rappers, I would peep shit like we all be in a mansion and I'm the only one showering for two, three days. You get what I'm saying? Nah, and it's the same niggas. I swear to God. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait a second. I'm telling you something. Wait a second. That's why, that's why people swear I was fucking rap. I won't ever in my life fuck a rapper. So, I done seen too much. So you be in a mansion two or three days and nobody is showering. No one is showering. Not even the artist. I'm not even going to say the name. That's crazy. Not even the artist. I was <laughs> why, why wouldn't they be showering? I'm confused. Fast lifestyle. And you do, it ain't that fast. You can hop in the right. shower for two You're, minutes. If you just smoke weed. Like, and you know what's crazy? They want to brush their teeth and they all pass in the blunt. None of them. And I just seen that and it just disgusted COVID. me. COVID. You know? It, there was no COVID. <laughs> nah, it, was like, just, it was like years ago when I was running around. That's with crazy. So now you was dancing. You said, like, what type of dancing? So everybody, Choreography, hip hop. Okay, all right. So yeah, no, 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 no. Not like... Um, no, no, I'm just the audience. He's needs a, to creep. Know he's a creep. He's a creep. He's a creep. No, <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Nah, I was choreography. Listen, Cardi came from what you call? It? She was doing actual choreography. Yeah, I was doing actual choreography and backup dancing. For All right, artists. fire. Yeah, and then it just became once it started fucking with my pay. I'm like, nah, that's crazy. I can't, I can't fuck with it. I might as well be an artist and dance with my own music. But it was kind of hard, like getting to the point because everybody around me was like, nah. what made that? Like, what was like, what inspired that transition though? From like doing the dancing. Cause that was working, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? To like the music, like who put the battery in your back to even like get in the booth, you know what I'm saying? Go to the studio and I was you... at Mano's studio. Okay. Okay. Wow, so, everything come full circle. Full circle. I was at Main it was the first studio I've been with with like a celebrity, right? It was Mano. I was super cool with Mano. One of my homegirls, I think, was messing with him, but I was so young. I didn't know what was going on. Like, I was 16 in a strip club, and I didn't know what strippers was, if you know what I'm saying. 16 mm. in a strip club? Mm. Crazy. Nigga, in wow. a strip club? I was background dancing for design. Oh, copy, copy, copy. Right. You know, so when I see them, I'm like, oh, these girls are mad cute. I never thought they were strippers or bartenders or escorts. I never knew about that. Mm. I said, shorty brought me to like a swinker party. I'll see Wait a second. Hold on. Everybody settle down. Everybody relax. I swear. Hold on. Because you're speeding. You're speeding. Give me I'm two and a half you. seconds. So, I shorty. You. Who's shorty? You don't got to say is there a, a, a great. A John that was that. A John that you was messing with or an artist? She, nah, John. She washed right It was a female. It was a female. A female say, hey, let's go to this swing let's go to joint. A she said, let's go to a she party. Right you now. know what's crazy? Like, when I was 16, 17, all my friends were strippers and bartenders, but I never looked at them like that. But I knew they was getting mad money. They used to pay for my hair because, 
you know, they used to believe in my dancing. And I was such a tomboy. If you remember, I always used to be in tech suits and all types of shit. I never used to care for my nails. And these girls will pay. That's why I got a certain level of respect for bartenders and strippers. Because I would have regular friends. And not to downplay them, but they have nine to fives. And it's like, they wouldn't pay $10 to see me in my show. Right. Yeah, but, it'd be like but I had strippers and bartenders like... Having me on um, private jets with them no, um, while they fucking niggas and networking me and putting and like paying for my wigs and paying for my parents and teaching me certain things that so yeah the support so yeah you basically had a whole support team in a sense I had a a hood ass uh, support uh, uh, team. it is what it is but you had a support I had team. A, I loved it though I miss it right right nah, that's support though nah, that's right. real support like, I'm gonna sell this pussy for your hair bitch like but when I went to oh my god basically <laughs> I'm not a pimp I don't know no 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 they, they see potential and they believe right. in Right, right. You so, know. and then the the issue was as I start as they started dolling me up, I started getting attention. So it was never an issue when I was never getting attention because I was a tomboy. Mm -hmm. As soon as I started getting attention from the same rappers or or whoever ball players they would fuck with, like once they started giving me attention, then it's then the hate. problems came. Right, oh, hate you look at right. Problems came. The hate came. And you know it's crazy? I didn't notice it because at that point, I didn't need them for support. Like, I was getting money at the time. Right. So, it was like, I was matching up with them. Like, you know. You thought it was love. It's, I it thought was it was love. love. I didn't like, keep it. Because, right. like, if you're around me and we're building, like, I'm really a genuine person. And I love people who support me. If you support me, I support you ten right. toes down, you know. So, it was, it was, like, the point where I was like, nah, let me stop dancing. We went to a swinger party. <laughs> I can't love the swinger shit. Mind you. What happened? Let's look into the detail. What happened at the swinger sure party? You sure you want to know what happened? I, I absolutely want to know what happened. <laughs> you sure you want to uh, know <laughs> Please, it's, it's, it's Christmas time, nigga. First of all, there was a famous rapper there. Okay. Right? Okay. Gotta say you got to keep it a stack. I'm not saying no names. I don't do that. Uh, me telling y'all is just the thing. Dark skin or light skin? He was dark skin or light skin? I'm not doing that. I, you can take dogs. Bro, what is He a freak ass yeah. nigga, bro. So Kevin um, Gates. I don't know that. Man. I don't know that. Man. <laughs> 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 me up just now, yo. Nah, that's nah, crazy. nah. nah you don't know Kevin Gates. You don't. All right, so, all right, so what happened? You want to? All right, so happen. boom. So shorty, she, she's a fire joint. She was like a Domin a Dominican shorty, right? But she didn't look Dom Dominican. She kind of looked like Indian, kind of like she was just one. She was just gorgeous, right? So we go to a swinger party. And I'm, mind you, I'm like 17. You got to be 23 to get into the spot. So I'm into, the, I'm in the spot. Next, all I'm seeing is just old ass Indian dude, naked. Just you mean they back? You wilding. Dick you wilding this girl out. And apparently they were friends. So you know what she did? She put me in the bathroom because she knew I was innocent. She put me in the bathroom. She said, yo, give me 10 minutes. I'm about to make this bread and then we're going to go to another party to link with another rapper she fucking with, whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. Mind you, I was so innocent at the time. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. I'm seeing a nigga get top. Mind you, I was a virgin at the time. I'm seeing a nigga get top. What? Old nigga getting top from a young fire joint. Then I'm seeing two old niggas. Fire fucking, joint though? Two niggas is fucking in the spot too. Mm. And I've never Lit. been. Lit. Wait. That all right? Cause, cause you you so fast. <laughs> You're talking so. It was fast. crazy, like being in the industry. So you you was in the bathroom, was, okay? Everybody so, settled down for two so seconds. So I come in. You was in the bathroom. <laughs> you you was like, oh, you, you seen the Guinness is is, is top, and then you see two other niggas fucking. First thing I seen was an <laughs> older Indian dude getting okay. top from this white cute little girl, like Damn. she probably was my age. Then I'm seeing two niggas fucking on the side, and then I'm seeing like some other shit going on. There was a rapper there, but he was like in a private room or something. How so, many how many bitches he had? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really okay, know. You wouldn't, you, but you, if you're in that kind of environment, you know what I'm saying. Everybody fuck. Oh, well, right. I wasn't fucking. No, no, you. No. you was, yeah, no, no. We, we, you wasn't fucking. Yeah. That. <laughs> we trying to get that clear. Right, right. now nah, I so wasn't then, fucking. Boom. All right, now proceed. Good. Okay, that she was like. So I'm like, I'm like, that was my first time seeing what she do, and I'm like. So okay. she was going in. I'm going to say her name is Aaliyah. Because mm. me boat. telling the story Rock made me feel like boat. saying a name because it's a real story. Why'd you and have I, to say Aaliyah, though? Right. You, did, you definitely Because it's completely far-fetched from her oh, name. We're going to say Sharkeisha. You want to say Sharkeisha? Yeah, Aaliyah. All right. So Keisha. <laughs> um, so Keisha was like, I was like, yo, Keisha, why are you doing this? Like, you're mad pretty. Like, you don't need to do this. I see niggas on you 24-7. Then she put, she's like, yo, she's like, yo, ski, it's okay. I'm going to bring you to the bathroom. Please just give me 10 minutes. I do not want to hear the lectures. So right. I'm like, okay, boom. 
I'm in a bathroom. I'm scared to touch everything in a bathroom. Because <laughs> I don't know if there's cum on the sink. Right. I black didn't know. Hey, ugly. yo. The black Yeah, and ugly. it was, and I didn't know. I was like, I don't want to catch HIV. I was like so young. You right. Know? You're so, everybody. You breathe. You catch AIDS back Yeah, then. I was scared. So I'm like <laughs> in a bathroom crazy. panicking. And she was not lying. She took 10 minutes. I don't know. How, Got her cash did. and bounced. Nigga, she came out with like four bands. God damn it. And then she, gave, go ahead, and then she <laughs> gave me 500 Mind you, I'm 16 $500 is a lot for a 16 year Right, definitely. And mind you, she's only 21. So she was not that much older than me. So that's crazy now that yeah. I think back to I see to why it. she's washed up now. That's how she was moving. Yeah, she she's washed so now. You said she was washed. Like, you no, see, now. You, now. No, 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 right now. You seen her lately? She don't fuck with me. All right, but have you seen her physically? Yeah. What is she? What is she doing? What does she look like? She got a baby now. Um, <laughs> she got pregnant by her pimp. He was beating her, um, and you know they just went separate ways. But what does her, her physical features look like? Not the same. She Crazy. Yeah. They used to be the prom queen. People, now she the prom queen. When some people, you're beautiful when you're un- young, but when you get older, you know you get it dimish, dimish. Copy. Me, when I was younger, I was hit, bro. So like, yeah. as I get older, like I look kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? So boom. So after the swinger party, mm-hmm. she um, we're going to meet. I didn't even know she was fucking with the artist I was dancing for. Oh wow! So mm-hmm. we're going to meet him, right? And I'm thinking everything is cool, Gucci. Like you know, she was just fucking and sucking my niggas. Like I didn't say nothing to her. So I guess we went over there. Mind you, this was. Like, I work with him on a business tip, right. you know? On Whatever you do with my friend got nothing to do with me, yeah. you know? And it shouldn't have anything to do with me. They, they go there. He's fucking with another bitch, getting his dick stuck in the studio, on a, in a booth. And she goes in. She's acting crazy. Like, crazy. I'm talking about crazy. And the nigga said, I didn't even want to fuck you. I wanted ski. But, Whoa, I, but shit. I end up fucking you because you was loose. And he was like, don't be coming in my studio acting like that. And I, that was just like left field for me because I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it's right. got nothing to do with me. And then um, she said some left shit. I don't know, I to you, because she's about mad. me. She was like, why the fuck you want that like bum ass bitch? Something like that. Something like that. Nah, that's and crazy. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck, bitch? We was just sharing a McChicken and shit. A McChicken. <laughs> Yo, McChicken was buying like when I was 16, bro. I'm like, damn. <laughs> yeah, them shit's dead. Used to slap. I'm chicken? like, damn, that's how you feel. So she's like fucking up the studio. And after that. Um, he texted me on some trying to fuck me right. shit. I'm like, you never wanted to fuck me. Like, or try to insinuate you wanted to fuck me. Because I had a boyfriend at the time. And I'm like, why do you, why are you trying to be messy? I have nothing to do with the situation. He's like, yo, at the time I was getting like 400 a night. Excuse me. And he was like, um, well, if you want to get paid, like, this is how we got to move from mm. now on. And I was like, whoa, that's crazy. I really thought that was my brother. I really thought like, you know, I got this bad, like, Naive, in a sense. Naive. I was naive. Gullible, gullible. Because people was gullible. helping me. You was young too, though, so. Right. In that situation, that's when I was like, yo, fuck dancing for niggas. I'm going to do music. Mm. But it was like kind of hard transitioning, bro. And it, but, that's, but that's what I'm saying. Like, what was your inspiration like to, to like start doing music? Like, uh, like, Back at that time, like who, what females? Because it wasn't like now. It's OD. It's mad. Yeah. Every day I wake up, I see like a new chick. You know, right? Like, you got North, um, and hanging out with Ice Spice. Like, it's, right? Like, it's it's it's, going, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's going crazy. It's, it's, I love that for females. But that's what I'm saying. When you when you came in, it wasn't that many. Right. Like when you came in, like I think Cardi just dropped like maybe like a first mixtape type right. shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And people wasn't people wasn't supporting Cardi in New York because. The, the whole thing was she was stripping at Lust. Cardi's a stripper. She ain't going to make it. I, mm. I was posting Cardi music when she still had the crook. Like, her teeth was still fucked up. You know right. I mean? Four bowl that yellow. Why you had to bring that up? <laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying. Like, no, nah, I'm just I keeping know, it in a stack. Though. I know when you right. told that was just, in your ass. Nah, but, you know, she promoted, like, yo, I got a bag and fixed my teeth. Right. Like, people used to <laughs> say brag shit. all day about how she used to look on the gram, but she didn't care. Right. But I'm right. just saying, as far as support goes, like... Nobody in New York, like not even just New York, but like Cardi wasn't getting that support because nobody believed in her. Right. You know what I'm saying? I used to I used to talk to Cardi about that. Like, yo, don't worry. They 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 watching you. They comment on you. Your right. shit lit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So nah, they, for sure. that's wasn't that many it wasn't that many females like popping at that time. So like 
who were you looking at that you was like fucking with their music or? I was loving Missy Elliott. I was a dancer, so Missy. Nah, Elliott, yeah, Pharrell, Missy. That's a legend. Buster that's a, that's a living legend. That was like Missy. I was like weird and quirky, so that was like the genre I love the most because it just got me in my element with dancing. So it was like Missy Elliott. I just was like a fiend for her, like for real. fire. But I would say she, I don't want to say she and in, she inspired me to do music. Because she was helping me with dance. Like, her music inspired me to dance more. And I can stay And it inspired away. me to do music. What inspired me to do music was wanting better for myself in the industry. And it's like, when people realize, like, whoa, bitch, you're a little too smart. Let's pump your brakes. No, they and want you to be stupid. You got to be stupid. You got to play stupid play if you want to get Virginia. far. And I didn't know that because I was super smart. My mom put me in Catholic school. Damn. I was highly educated. I was super smart. And I, I have like this gift of reading people and reading my environment and all types of shit. So and a lot of people probably don't That's see fine. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and they get intimidated by that, especially men. Pressure. <laughs> yeah. yeah pressure. Wanna, pressure, yeah. You. It's I, like they get intimidated by that. They're going to stop you in your tracks as soon as that go. They see that. Like, bitch, you're a little too smart. Like, I don't got so many label um, deals. I'm like, mm, this don't sound right. Like, mm. he ain't supposed to be owning my whole who, life. Who, who um, who you thinking about fucking with, or like? I actually like the dude you introduced me to. He give good vibes. Yeah, but I gotta do more research. Of course, like, of course. You know? I appreciate that. That's that's dope in a woman, and and for everybody that's listening and watching, that's dope. And I'm happy you here because that's that's you you know you 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 telling your journey to the young to the young ladies who's like you know. Watch probably gonna go through that. Watch what she. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's that's fire. You watch know what I'm saying? You smart and you understand it. Let me watch my. Let me watch my shit. Let me see what you got going on. Like now, nah, niggas, oh, you you know how to read, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck with you. This bitch know how to read. <laughs> so that, nah, and like, you know what really did help me it was like going through all that shit, like early in early. the industry at young age, where it's like as soon as I turned twenty, I'm like, nah, nigga, I ain't fucking with it. But then I was. When I was younger, I did make a mistake where it was like, I wouldn't let niggas fuck me, but it was like, my well, niggas at the time, he didn't want to eat pussy. We was young as hell. So he gave me the go. Niggas is eating he, ass. Y'all niggas is crazy. Niggas, I've been eating no. ass since yep. I was two. <laughs> niggas, my ex niggas made a mistake. Niggas ass slips, nigga. My ex made a mistake. He said, you can't fuck niggas, but you could get head, because I don't give you head. And God damn it. Where the fuck was I? Listen, so. Huh? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> So, so when I like we break up like momentarily, like I get my celebrities in my. <laughs> oh, see, wait, say it again with the accent. My celebrities in my DMs, <laughs> and you know what I used to fuck Mad up blue at? Checks. Mad blue checks. Flooded. You know what I used to fuck up? I used to have these niggas eating my booty, everything, and I never fuck them. So get growing up and getting older. <laughs> keep it a Get stat. older. We keeping it a stack. Niggas on line like this. I'm not even going. Damn, nah, we ain't gonna do that. Nah, we got. Yo, I, I think like. Nah, go do nah, it. Nah, yeah, we keep it. Let's take a shot, y'all. We got Jada ski in the um, building. Ski. Yes. Keep it stack. We keep shot a clock. Bigger. No manners. We in the building. I mean, Yobi, let's go. Uh, go. Like, no, nah, you, you want some pineapple? This you shit want? tastes like rubbing. Well, don't we? We popped the bottle. What's that? What's that? Good. You want some champagne? No, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm fine. He's trying to get you drunk. Nah, he's going to Bob. He's going to He wants. Nah, he wants your OnlyFans. He wants. He wants your OnlyFans. I don't have an OnlyFans. I mean, he's disappointed now. I don't That's know what's happening. So let me ask you something, right? Let's keep. Yeah. So like, because nigga like Marcus, he gonna slide like he one of them niggas. He gonna once you once you leave, he gonna slide anything on you. What up, Ski? Uh, uh. This is not right. a fact. I am right here. I'm going to no, tell we, you. We, we and just slide your DMs. Fuck you, talking about joking. So what's the DMs is looking like? What's the craziest DM you ever got? Um, I got I got crazy as. Fucking DM. Fly to Dubai right now. Fly, no, I fly, I did get that, but actually, I got in, instead of DMs. Okay, it wasn't that's how DMs. you know you're a baddie when you when you get that. Yo, come fly to Dubai. No, but it was a different kind of shit. It was um, it was I'm gonna fly to okay. Dubai. So one of the biggest gas companies. I'm not gonna say no names. His great grandfather owned it. Shout out to Shell. Like, hold on, Shell. Shell is Shell company. ain't number one. Stop. Hold on, hold on. I'm not, just saying. Not, not gas Shout out company. to Shell. We ain't talking about Mo weed. Yeah, we talking like about two. actual gas. Actual gas. Let me tell you so something. Listen. First of all, stop first because you need. I need you to understand what's happening because y'all not listening. 
We not talking about we talking about gas. Niggas that owns gas companies is fucking billionaires. Right. Shout to her getting billionaire niggas coming out of her. Go ahead. Proceed. But that's because of how I portray myself. That's how I like move. Like when people it's it's all about energy. Like on Instagram, yes, I have to be provocative. But when you meet me in person, you know you gotta come correct. Like, you know I ain't finna like be on no type of time. But um yeah, so this dude in Dubai, he's like He's one of the princes, I think. I don't know how. God damn it. That. <laughs> I've been so looking for a princess. You. So let me tell you. I'm like, he DM me at 20. He's like, I don't like talking through DMs. He's like, I see you do music. Let's talk business. He knew to hit me with the business. He was like, hit me on WhatsApp. So on WhatsApp, I'm like, okay, do you own a company? And he's like, I own a company. He was like, how much do you want for three albums? And I'm like, mm. shit, give me a million. And he goes, I'm going to give you 72 million. And he Wait, was like, 72? Wait a he minute. Said, I'm going to give you 72 million, and I want 40% of profit, 360, basically. But with 70 million, nigga, you Gucci off 360 and a 40% break off, that's a win win. Yeah, do right? the math. And what happened? So, this is what happened. So, like, I'm like, okay, he sent the paperwork. I read the paperwork, sent it to my lawyer. My lawyer is like, Bitch, you ain't even need to send to me. Sign that shit right now. Like, right. I'll take 200K. I'm right. She's certified. So I'm like, yo, this shit's legit. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, yo, is this God giving this to me or the devil? Like, because mm. it didn't make sense to me. Because it's like, no one's just going to come up and be like, I'm going to give you 70 da 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 M's to sign. This nigga wants you to be his wife. Know. Oh my God, how the fuck did you know that? That sounds like some motherfucking Arabian shit. He, went, he got 38 wives. <laughs> how the fuck did he ready, you he ready to give, know that? He ready to give Ski I half seen it, of his I seen it on Martin. How off the, the rip. He's going to be his concubine. <laughs> so I go on a WhatsApp call with him one day. He was calling, he was texting me every day. But on some cool shit. Then one day, he made me meet his mom. Very, very, very old. And I'm like, real respectful. I'm like, how are you? How are you doing? Et cetera, et cetera. Hope everything's fine with you. And then she was like, yeah, she that's that's her. And then I'm like, what the fuck? Nigga said, that's her. That's her. The mother was like, yep, that's her. Now, was like, you going to be the main wife? Then he or goes, you going to be just one of his The wives? main, I'm about to tell you. Let me break it down. Then he goes, he says, I'm going to give you $150 million. Oh, He said, shit. He my said, pussy's and, wet. And, and, and no, my pussy don't get wet. Off Mine money. is. Oh. I'm just fucking with you guys. My <laughs> money don't get Yo, me get wet. This- Character, character game we're going. <laughs> but he's like I'm going to give you 150 this is where it goes crazy he said I'm going to give you 150 million dollars and when I give you 150 million dollars he said choose three friends you want to come with you and he was like I want you to live in Dubai minimum two years with me and I'm like I'm like, why do I need to move in? I'm like, first off, the money is way too much. I'm a hood bitch. If I see 50000 clear in my account, I think I did something wrong. I don't know why I got that. Like, I don't know why, but it's just like, I just feel if like government 50. will be after me because I'm making so much money. So um, I'm like, why do I need to be with you in Dubai? And he was like, I want you to be my wife. And he said um, he has heart failure and he needs someone um, to take care of him for two, three years. And he was like, after that, he'll give me a share of the gas company. And Somebody give me a wig and some titties. No, <laughs> Somebody but, grab me a wig and some goddamn in the titties. Industry, yeah. But even bitches bartend, they get these kind of situations. Listen, so but, so you basically God like you know everybody say like this. Everybody got their price, so you basically. I don't I don't like, sell myself. Yeah. So this yeah. is what I told him. I said, I said since you got heart failure and you like on your deathbed, I will come. I'll take two months out of my time, two months only. And I will take care of you free of charge because I appreciate the fact that you even wanted to invest in my brand. And that's how real of a person I am. So this thing is like crying and all types of shit. And he's like, he's crying. nobody in my life. Yeah, it's crazy, nigga. He's like, nobody in my life even cared to even do something for me without a dollar. So he's like. Oh, he got a lot of dollars, so. Yeah. So he's like, I want you to live with me and I want to get married with you. You're the person I love. And I'm like. Respectfully, if I genuinely don't like you, I'm not about to use you because karma has come back tenfold. So I'm not about to use you for your money. Like, no, nigga, you offer me 150 M's, I'm not giving you yeah, pussy. I, like, if I don't like you, if I genuinely don't fuck with you. 90% of Instagram would have jumped. What? Yo, 90, 99.9%. I fell out with two bartender bitches because of that because they wanted to come with me to Dubai and yeah. they said they were willing to do. They was hanging out with pissing. Takashi. I don't know. They would have did. And you didn't have to do shit. You just sat there and did the work for you. Shit. They definitely no. got a bag from Takashi. Damn it. Huh? They definitely got a bag from Takashi. Never got that offer. Probably, but the kind of, you know, but nah, I'm not even going to do that. But yeah, so it, 
And that's just one of the amazing, crazy offers I got. And it wasn't on some I'll piss on you, you got and wild, shit on you. Uh, you got wild females hating on you right now. This bitch. Why would they hate on me? I'm in the fucking, I step in the pissy elevator every day, bitch. This no, project. no, no, that's no. A bad bitch but because I'm not, but understand, because I'm not taking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. But because I'm not taking offers like that like a female in product. a way it makes me like stagnant. If you get it. Big basketball player. I fu- he's huge now still to this day. I think he's married too. He Who told the me- dude the dude? He's a basketball player. I'm not saying names. Cause I thought you were talking about the, the the oil dude. No, we off the oil dude. I basically did he die yet? Let's it. talk about that real no, quick. No, he did not This nigga yet. was lying. No. This nigga still ain't died with a no, goddamn. He didn't die yet, but he's like he's perk not thirty. Mobile. Y'all just slipped him a perk thirty. Oh my gosh! I'm just. I'm sorry. No, he's no. He didn't die, but he's like he can't move. Like he's in. He's bad. That's bad. beautiful. No, I mean he's not beautiful. Uh, God damn it! I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, keep going. Oh uh, yeah. So I just told him like it just it, like deep down in my heart, I just can't take advantage of you. Like you're very you're, you're such in a vulnerable a nice state. person. I'm really not because I'm a savage too. But God like, damn it, where's the savage? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there was one that situation. Then it was a, I had two other situations. Basketball player, he's like known as a legend right now. That nigga could be my dad, bro. He you like talk about niggas be your dad. Cause I want I'm a daddy. Just, no, I'm fucking with you. Hey, yo. No, I'm just yo. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese. Oh, my God. Swiss cheese, Margaret, Margaret. Well, let me ask let, you. Let, 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 so, let, let her rock. We got, we got, we got to get this question. interview. I had another question. Shout out to you, 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 we gonna keep it a Hold stack. On, we, that we was gonna, just ticket out. We gonna take a shot, man. We got Janaski yes. in yes. the building. Yeah. You heard? Over there. Should you I continue saying? saying what I was saying? Yeah, I was. Yeah, okay. please, I got you. Yeah, so there was um basketball player. He's like a legend now. Um, and he was like, "I'll invest in your music. I'll give you an M, and I'll pay off a crib for you in Cal in L.A." And I was Wait, like, "Wait, he gonna give you an M in a crib in L.A.?" Yeah, in L.A. And he talking about like. The hills, probably. The hills, yeah. Like, next to him. Like, I noticed, like, with most basketball, Man, got, established basketball the players, they're going to move, like, their side bitches or, like, a bitch they fuck with next to them. Like, you know, if they really fuck with For you. convenience. For convenience. And to they don't shut you the fly, fuck up. They don't fly a new bitch out every week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's to really sh- shut you the fuck up so you don't go back and tell, you know, or run your mouth to... You know, you could live like this if you don't go on social media type shit. Yeah. So there was a situation like that. Then I had like another one. Um, this old, um, older. I think he was Jewish. He owns a building in Manhattan, I believe, on 39th or 40th Street. He owns the whole apartment complex, and I had met him through like a fashion show. And he was like, "I'll let you get one of the condos in your name." Paid off, but you have to be my bitch. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, you could, he really could have been my grandfather. And I'm like, what is going on? No. And he was like, I'll give you the condos. Cause I was, he he knew I was networking. I lived in Queens at the times and I was going back an hour, back and forth, back and forth. And he peeped that. So he's like, I'll move you there, but I want that little pussy. And I'm like, and guess what? The condo is like six M's. It's in the city on top, rooftop. He's like, I'll give it to you. I want that little black pussy. And I'm like, hell no. You crazy as hell, nigga. You got Janaski in the building. She got niggas ready to put up Um, six M's for her to just be close to them type shit. Yeah, but I didn't take it. And you know what's crazy? I would fall out with a lot of my friends because they're like, bitch, we could have been lit with you. And it's like, you being selfish. Like. Why the fuck you care about this nigga's feelings? He's trying to spend money on you. And I'm like... They say we, everybody we, got a price, yo. They, that's what they say. I don't say. got a price. I'm sorry. I just don't got a price for it. I, 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 it's my pussy priceless. I don't put... Because once... You let one nigga... Priceless. You let one nigga pay for that pussy, the whole hood know. The whole mm-hmm. fucking hood know. The whole industry know, nigga. Niggas do be talking. Niggas always Niggas talk. worse than... Niggas always Niggas talk. talk more than Ain't no such thing. I, 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 I don't know about that. I know about that. Niggas I know about that. We're going to keep it a stack. That. Yeah, we're going to keep it a stack. Uh-huh. Niggas, nigga, I used to run around with celebrities. You you know what um, the celebrities and their homeboys would do? They'll sit down and pass the blood. Yo, I fucked her too, bro. And then some nigga was like, yo, her pussy wasn't even all that. I don't even know why she got all them followers. And I'll dead ass be just there listening. I'm like, that's crazy. She got mad followers and whack oh, pussy. Trash. 
Nigga, I be around Uncle, when I was young. I was around Uncle Murray and all of them. And Mayno, they crazy too. Yeah, I mean, shout out they to Uncle Murray. They blood I love them. Shout Uh-oh. out to Uncle Murray and Mayno. <laughs> you was like, nigga. You was with some gangster gangs. I was with all of them. I was like the youngin' around everybody. So I learned from them. I learned that these niggas gonna talk. Like, there's a bitch right now who's super lit. I'm not gonna say no names. Y'all gonna put it to, I'm not gonna say nothing else. That bitch used to sell her pussy to my bros for two, three hundred dollars. She got like I don't know, four, five million followers. Bitch, nobody taking you serious, G. Like, I had that pussy for 300, nigga. Shh, I don't give a fuck if it was 10 years ago. Niggas don't give a fuck if it was 10 years ago. You could have been on some scissor status. Hey, I don't give a fuck. I fucked that bitch for $100 years ago. <laughs> niggas is always going to hold that. Like, for some reason, they always remember that. Oh, yeah, nah, niggas never going to I had that up. pussy when she lived on the block. <laughs> she ain't know that. You feel me? Like, niggas don't care about But that. another thing niggas don't care about is that... That a nigga had it for cheap, cause the niggas that got it, they, they gonna pay high. They don't. They don't nah, you think that. that they nah, make I know it seem that. Like, let me tell you what these bitches on Instagram doing. They be making it you seem know like Drake, niggas, you know what Drake said. Five hundred dollars right now with six million followers, four million followers. Do not believe the cap. I'm so plugged in with all these niggas, bro. These niggas, you know what they do? They give them fake Chanel bags and fake Birkins. Give it to them and nah, they just don't put fake Birkins. I promise you. I'm telling you something. They got it from oh, the Chinese lady for seven fifty. <laughs> on Canal. Nah, there's like this Chinese bitch. She's <laughs> mad plugged in. Not to call her a bitch. She got Super the good. Plugged. She got the good fake. It looked like the real thing. I need her number. Seven fifty. <laughs> just, just in case I need. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you. But that's what niggas. That's the new. That's the new wave. Like, that's give a crazy. bitch a bag. You can give a bitch a Louis Vuitton bag. She gonna throw you that pussy. We in trouble times right now. See me. It's, it, it's different for me. Like, if you gonna come like that with me, like. Yo, because money is nothing to me because oh. I done got certain kind of money. So it's like, if you going to step like that, you better step like that with me. But I'm not going to be like, yeah, give me like a thousand. I'm going to give you the pussy. That's crazy to me. That's not play to me at all. You done paid for pussy before? Oh. What you mean? Have I'm, you ever paid? What you mean? I'm, what you I'm, mean? I'm, I'm, I'm married. I'm paying for it every day. I'm not talking before <laughs> you're married. I'm, I'm paying right now. I'm, I'm, I'm paying for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> before you was forever. married, I'm, I'm, for, I'm forever in debt. No, I'm before you was debt. married. <laughs> yeah. Before you was married. Before you was married, did you ever pay for pussy? I mean, everybody do because I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask you that. Did you ever pay for pussy before you was married? Time is money. Did you ever pay for pussy before you was married? It's a yes. Nah, or no I was always married. Nah, nah, you capping. I plead, I, I plead the fifth. fifth. You plead the fifth? Okay. I thought we was keeping it stacks. I thought we was keeping it stacks. I'm, 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 I'm keeping it 500. Oh, you know. You I'm keeping keep it 400. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we was keeping it stacks. Nah, nah. I'm, I'm just saying, like, at, at the end of the day, it is money. It's always going to be money. You know what That's I mean? not what I asked you. I asked you, did you no, ever I, pay I for pussy? Yes, you did. I never. Did you ever no, pay for pussy before you got married? If you did, there's nothing wrong with it. Nah, I'm, but I'm saying if... I, you whatever, just said, though, whatever, everybody kind of do. Yeah, because whatever you... So why are you saying no? Nah, What's kind of mean, though? I'm saying kinda, time kinda is money. So it, even kinda if you're spending... It's not even if, you did it. No, exactly. listen. Even that's if you're spending know. time, that's... that's. I didn't ask time. you about your time. I asked you, did you spend money for the pussy? Never. You lying. You keeping it 50, nigga. You ain't keeping it in the stack. <laughs> He ain't keeping it aside. Oh, stop playing. What's going on? I told you, man. I'm, I'm married. I didn't ask you that. I'm telling you that. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> oh, we getting into the music. I want to know more yes. about the music, baby. Uh, okay, yeah. You have a lot of nice stories, though. Yes, thank you, friend. I mean, not nice stories, but interesting. Interesting. I can say. Right. What's one thing, because you said a few things that you would not do yeah. out of all the experiences you've had. Mm-hmm. But what's one thing that you know, the business aspect of it, that you just, after seeing all of that, that you're just not tapping into when it comes to being a female rapper? Um, well, the main thing is I'm not, I don't care who you are. I'm not giving you pussy for features. I'm not giving pussy for nothing. I'm not putting my pussy, because my pussy is part of me. So if I do that, I feel like I sold my soul. So if I sold my soul, I feel like, What's what's the point in walking with Christ and doing all that shit through Jesus Christ and all types of shit? It just defeats the purpose and everything I was taught. So I wouldn't ever do that. I didn't had man, I didn't I already had features with my dude, my celebrity niggas. It's not cleared because I don't wanna fuck them. Wow. But but because I finessed my weight into it, I got the feature done. But because I ain't on some fucking shit or trying to sign a label or trying to do something. They ain't trying to clear it? 
they not clearing it. And you know what's crazy? The labels, the execs fuck with me because they want me to sign under them so they don't mind throwing that feature to me. But it's the artist. Like, nah, you playing me. I gave you the feature. I want that pussy. And that's really how they be talking. And I be talking crazy to them nigga. Like, nigga, I have my aunt have your dick cut off. Nigga, oh, no. in your sleep. Your dick stop working. <laughs> I'm dead ass. I'll have my aunt have your dick stop working and you gonna really learn how to talk to females. For real. No G shit. So, and I see a lot of girls fold under pressure. And that's why, you know, it may seem like they're ahead of me, but I don't look at people ahead of me or behind me. I look at everybody got their own paths. That's right. Whatever path you choose is going to take you a certain way at a certain pace at a certain time. So I'm not going to be fucking four or five raps for the feature features. Like, I'm just make sure I get in the right situations. You're going to dick ride regardless. So I just got to wait it out for me. Oof. Wow. Keep it a stack. Keeping it a stack. I know like six 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 female rappers that you bumping right now them fucking mad niggas and seals and like and they lit right now. Top, and I see that top five. I see that they lit and I'm like so happy for them. But it's like I be like praying to myself. I'm like, God, like damn. You're like, I'm really doing right by you. Like I be really talking to God and that's what he do. He really tells But it's you easy being bad. To see, he gonna test you to see if you're gonna fall. With the devil, eyes. that's right. It's you easy. The mad. devil gonna give it to you quick, but you are gonna fall quicker. But with God, He gonna test you to see if you really walk with Him. He's gonna put you through many tests. That's real shit. And but when you're there, you got that longevity, and, and you just gonna shine different. You know what I'm saying? So and it's hard because if we gonna be real, um, Satan is the devil of music. If you see all these artists like you heard what Uzi just said. It's not just it's not him. It's it's most. No, but I'm saying Uzi know. just was on Rolling Loud, and he said. The city, he like he said the line about city girls. He said I'm a, I'm a um make the city girls fall in love with Satan. Yeah, man. Like kudos to whatever they believe in, but I believe in <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I believe in Jehovah God, but and that's why I'm. But like everybody's so listening to the music though. Like, Everyone's listening to the music. All these bitches getting lit. They passing by me. Woo! Nigga, I done did this. No, 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 no. I'm not even saying. I'm talking about like. I'm saying Uzi said that at Rolling Loud. I'm just saying those type of lyrics. Like, you mm -hmm. saw the girl, the video that went viral where the girl walked out because of, um, what's his name? Um, Playboy, Playboy Cardi. Party. Yeah. She was like, yo, there's this some, some demonic shit. shit. Nah, I'm out. there's some real shit. They were saying there's some people getting out. possessed in the crowd. There's some real shit that other people don't know what's going on in the industry. And it's like, because everything is based off conspiracies. They got a way with doing certain things. You would think an artist is doing things because they just trying to get their name out there and being on blogs, but really they just supporting who they really follow and they're really showing that person love. Mm. Like, like years ago, like I didn't really hear about kids getting needles and dying in concerts like that. Gee, like it's crazy right now. It's super crazy, and it's like if you're very spiritual and you know about all the deities and these spirits, when they say these certain names, they be saying it in a song, mm -hmm. like in the ad list, but they put it low, but you hear that shit. But guess what? That shit bumped though, so you're not even paying attention to what they really trying to. Yeah, imagine five hundred thousand people saying "Demon Time." Exactly, and it's like it, it, it. There's there's like a physical world. You could be putting in all the work, but in a certain industry, it, it depends on your field. If if you want to work a regular nine to five, go to school, take four years. Feel me? You get your job. But in the industry, it's kind of different. You gotta kind of sell your soul, nigga. You gotta get that pussy up. You gotta do certain shit, and it's it's hard for me because I ain't like that. So that's why I'm like stumbling left and right, like you know what I'm saying, like. My road's a little bit stumbly, but it's like I'm still progressing at the end of the day. But it's like I be seeing bitches out of nowhere just getting lit. And I'm like, ah, oh, damn. But then when you find out who they fucking, I'm like, oh, you smart bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you can't be mad at it because everybody got different morals and standpoints of how they want to live their life. Some people are so desperate to be rich and on top, they willing to do whatever. And I don't knock that. But because I know more spiritually about like eternal life and all types of crazy shit that be going on and how like Your demons morals are and different. angels are fighting in front of you right now, spiritual warfare right now. So it's like when you do certain things and you get lost up in certain paths, like it really will hold you to that, to whatever you're doing. Like don't think you could sacrifice. Mm, don't think you could sacrifice your mom or your dad and. Think you get lit and think you ain't got to sacrifice somebody else after that a few years later. It, it's like maintenance. You get what I'm saying? Everything is about maintenance. For you to get that degree, you got to have maintenance. You got to have, you got to put in that work. You got to go to school, wake up every day. It's discipline. Everything is discipline. So it's like, it's, 
it's more than like, yo, you got to work every day, work hard, network, and da 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 to get to the top. No, it's more than that. It's deep. Yeah. It's nasty in the building, y'all. Keep it a Keep thousand. It a, that. All right. All right. Appreciate you for pulling up, gang, oh, gang. Yeah, I, shit. We, we want the music, though. So, okay, so my music, like I said, I was going through a couple years, going back and forth. Because I had a lot of people around me talking about, like, the music shit trash and all types of shit. And I'm like, how is my shit trash when I'm actually putting punchlines in my shit, bars in my yeah, shit? Yeah, really spitting. Really spitting. And I'm really, like, putting in, like, work with my music and putting time and effort. So I peeped. I got to change my surroundings. And that's why I moved from New York. So I was in Miami for, like, two, three years. And I was just trying to get my mental right. But in Miami, it's just too much tricky, nigga. Like, these niggas just seem... Miami's like, lit, man. Like, Where we going? We could go next the week. Flight. We out. Yeah, but I just moved to Atlanta, so now like I'm peeping the energy is different. It's more creative. ATL. Now. It's more creative now. So I'm working on a project and a couple singles and you know, hopefully got a fire team behind me with a budget, actual budget. And my thing was just finding a team that knew I was not down to do certain things. Mm -hmm. You know, my old team was just like, bro, nigga. That's da 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 dog. You ain't trying to give that nigga pussy. Do what you got to do. You was fucking a hood nigga for six, seven years. And I'm like, I love that hood nigga. <laughs> feel me? Like, <laughs> no, they really that ass try to justify me fucking rappers. Like, nigga, you was fucking a bum ass nigga that did nothing for your life. Why not fuck a nigga that could change your life tomorrow? And I'm like, because I don't like that exchange. It's not genuine to me. It, it just defeats, like, how I walk and how I move and my aura. So, but now that I have a team that under actually, I finally found it. Like, nigga. Ten years later, I finally find like a fire team that understands me. So, um, I recorded like a hundred records. We're gonna bring it 100? down to, yeah. And again, I, I recorded a hundred. Well, I'm saying like I'm talking about like who who like who what's in Janaski's top five. Like, are you like more like a Nicki fan or more like a Cardi fan? I I love both of them. I don't got. First of all, I'm not a fan of nobody. But you know how the you know how the fans they gonna make they gonna make everybody go at it. Nah, I'm not a fan of nobody. I'm not a fan of no human being, like, if that makes sense. You're not a fan of nobody? No. Why am I a fan of you? You don't listen to Ice Spice? I love her music, and I love what she's doing. I love that she's on top. I have nothing negative to say about her, but I'm not her fan. I'm not. I don't go to con the concerts. are not even my thing. I don't go to concerts and be like, oh, my God, oh, my God. I think the only person I would probably be fan of is maybe Missy Elliott, but I grew out of but that. I'm saying you got to be listening to something. like. You I don't listen to no music. I don't even listen to my music. I promise you. Like, music is around me 24-7. I don't want to hear it. I'm in the studio 24-7. I'm Word. tired. I don't want to hear it. It's like your job. Like, let's say every day you do something, you're going to get tired of it. But since you love it, you're just going to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. But I hear it. I'm recording every fucking day. I, like, take thought baths in the studio because I'm in the studio every day. So I don't listen to no music. I don't turn on radio. So, but who's your top five, though, female artists? We know Missy's number one. But who? who would you, if you who had to give one? a top five. Yeah. Who's in your top five? Um, that's a great question because I am in my own little bubble. That's a great question. It don't got to be females. It could be both. Uh, it could be males too, Jay Z, um, J Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Meek Mill, and I fuck with Jada Kiss. Kiss, that's what's up. That's a, I fuck with that top five. Good one. Hey. And it's not to like discredit the females rappers. Like I'm, I'm for femininity, so I'm not against no female rappers. I'm just not. I can't say I'm a fan because I don't know your lyrics. I probably know like something on TikTok, like um, with Ice Spice. That nigga ain't much. Then I eat it <laughs> for lunch. But I honestly don't know the rest of the song. So I don't think nobody that does, doesn't bro. mean I'm but, a real fan. I, <laughs> I just think I don't think that's a real fan. If you don't know someone's art like fully, at least one song fully. So I don't think you're really a, a fan of that. Even like with Missy Elliott's songs, like I'll dance to, I don't fully know all her rec her song. One song I don't fully know the lyrics. So I can't really say, yo, yeah, I'm a diehard fan. Like, you know? But it's not to be shady or anything, cause but just be but with like all the trends and stuff that like these new females, a lot of them doing, even with the drill, like what motivates you to keep like, you know, putting the metaphors and the bars together and doing the freestyles and stuff? Because like I, um, because real always going, real always going to always shine. Because at the end of the day, like it's crazy. Everyone got different paths. You like once you realize everyone got different paths, you start under not taking things serious. 
Like, for example, there'll be a nigga that will help, for example, like an Ice Spice with music because she's hot, but not you because, not me because my music is not hot enough. But he knew me since I was young. I can't take that serious because he's trying to get on his path. So I just learn and just not take things serious and just keep going hard and do what I do. Say less. Make some noise, man. Thank you for having me. I have fun. Appreciate you. Let's get it.